Okay, good morning, Team Summit. Sorry, I have to stand up because I thought it better when I'm standing up. Um, anyway, uh, I'm in our conference room here this morning, um, and it's only July, but really exciting things happening here at Team Summit right now. I want to share some of those with you. Um, first off, I want to talk about our, our strategic plan that uh, we started last year um, the, with the work of the strategic plan. Planning committee, we have really like five things that we need to celebrate in, in our strategic plan. So first off, uh, we built on our community leading status at, in coach recruitment and retention. Um, we are doing great in those areas and, and excited to um, have the caring, loving, competent staff that we have. Um, next, uh, we improved our training venue access. Uh, this is a, a long-term project. We're going to continue to work on, on this, but we were able to expand uh, quite a bit of our access to training venues, and we will continue to work on this over the next several years. Um, there's this is an area that we can always improve. And so um, working with our resort partners to grow those opportunities for our athletes. Um, next is uh, we established the Olympic Aspiration Fund. And for those of you guys who don't know, this is a merit-based um, financial, financial assistance program that we have. Um, it, it is for high-level athletes. There, there are times in, in our sport where a, an athlete does well in a competition over a weekend, and that gets them into a World Cup and or it gets them into a world championship or youth olympics uh some major project or, or a major project the u.s ski team is leading in europe and and all of a sudden that family has to come up with somewhere between three and five thousand dollars in five to seven days to for their kid to be able to participate in those opportunities it's a real challenge um we hate to see our, our athletes working hard um getting to, to the point where they can be nominated for these things. And then all of a sudden there's a cost barrier to keep them from being able to participate in it. So Olympic Aspiration Fund helps close that gap for those families so that their kids don't miss out on those opportunities. Um, next, we established the GAP Fund. Uh, the GAP Fund it allows all of our ITS athletes to, or families when they enroll, um, to put their AGI in and then really receive an income-based discount on their tuition. Um, those discounts go up to families that make $150,000. The, the, the higher your income, the lower the discount. The, lo the lower your income, the higher the discount. But um, uh, really a uh, great opportunity providing uh, access to more people for more kids to get into our programs. Uh, our hope is that by the 26-27 season that we will have this uh, fund so well established that we will be able to offer those income-based discounts throughout all of our programs here at Team Summit. So really excited about that opportunity. And then uh, last thing that came out of it is um, our community outreach programs. We, we grew the things that we're doing uh, to take our programs to kids and, and make them more easily accessible, um, particularly elementary school kids. Uh, we, we really want um, every kid, every elementary school kid to have the opportunity to become an athlete in competitive snow sports if that's what they want to do. And so uh, we, we've put a lot into place to make that happen and have uh, plans to continue to grow that. So that all led to last week. Last weekend, um, we refreshed our strategic plan. We came out with um, four um, new AIPs, action uh, and initiative profiles that we're going to be focusing on in the 24-25 season. Uh, I want to share those with you really quickly. Is we want to build on um, our support for high-level athletes to continue to and ensure that those high high level athletes have all the support they need, not just financially, but athletically to be able to take advantage of those of opportunities when they come their way. Um, next, we want to uh, expand on being leaders in coaching, recruitment and retention 
and be leaders in coach training. This is going to be a game changer for Team Summit and Team Summit uh, athletes, actually, because if we have the best train and arguably we we already have one of the best trained, but we want to have the best trained staff uh, in competitive snow sports so that our kids are able to um, be able to learn from competent coaches, caring coaches, passionate coaches, and that will increase our athletes' athletic ability um, and create more opportunities for them to learn and grow and, and mature in, in our sports. So excited about that. Um, next, we want to focus on our culture and make sure that our values are infused throughout everything that we do at Team Summit. So we're going to put, put a real focus on this. Um, it's not that we haven't been doing this, but Team Summit has grown so much in in really a three year window that um, it's easy to lose um, lose contact with our values and our foundation and and what and who we say we are. And if you don't know, we, we were at about four hundred and fifty athletes um, going into uh, the twenty twenty one ski season and. And here in 2024, uh, we had over 1,200 athletes in Team Summit. So with growth, growth that fast, it's easy to lose um, contact, connection with who you are as an organization or who you say you are as an organization. So we feel like now is an important time to really crack down and focus on our culture, make sure we're, we, we continue to live our values here at Team Summit. And then finally, um, we're, we're going to focus on non-tuition revenue streams. Um, this will uh, allow us to stabilize, maybe if it goes extremely well, even reduce tuition, creating um, better access on the financial end of things for for kids, for families, athletes to be part of Team Summit programs. So super excited about these um, initiatives and looking forward to the impact that they're going to bring to Team Summit and uh, it, not not just in this season, but but for years, even decades um, beyond this season. So um, last thing back here on, on the board, I've got uh, three dates up here. Um, we'll send out ICS calendar invites to you so you can easily add them to calendar. But if you want to get ahead of things, you need to know uh, the ski swap this year will be November 1st through 3rd at Copper Mountain. Uh, you can sell gear. You can buy gear, new and used gear uh is is available there it's also a great opportunity for you to get in some of your volunteer service uh fee hours uh prior to the season so kind of jump jump start making sure you're getting that bsf refund at the end of the season um on that same weekend november 2nd also a comp for mountainous family orientation this is an opportunity that you don't want to miss because the bottom line is um this is the day where you learn every the most about team summit and the most about specifically about your program for the season if you don't come to this then um you're going to be behind the be behind the curve in knowing what's going on at team summit and in your program specifically so november 2nd copper mountain just plan to be here for the day and and participate in our family orientation the last thing ski ball december 14th will be at keystone conference center this year Ski ball is uh, a chance for uh, all of us to dress up and show off Team Summit. We it is our biggest fundraiser of the year. That money funds the Gap Fund among uh, as as the main focus of the evening. So um, ski ball is also a really good opportunity. When I say show off Team Summit, um, who who do you know that could be at your table? Be there with you and, and make a difference um, in, in what we're trying to do at Team Summit. So who, who, who are friends, who are family, um, who maybe don't know about Team Summit and, and could use a great opportunity to learn about Team Summit, um, feel the passion that we have, feel the mission that we have for trying to take um, competitive snow sports to um, as many kids as we possibly can. So I uh, hope you'll plan to be at the ski ball. It's a really great opportunity. Uh, if you're not able to come a as a guest and bring friends, it's also another great opportunity to work off some of those BSF hours in a really cool setting that makes a difference for our kids and our program. So that's it for, uh, for July. 
Thanks for giving me a few minutes of your time. Um, I, I love the sport. I love what Team Summit is doing in, in, in our industry and uh, glad to have you along for the ride.